It really feels like there's some old geezers in the world that are just perpetually infuriated and looking for any excuse to take out their anger on whatever poor soul happens to be in the vicinity. Today there's a video that's gone viral where the president of the HOA uh, caught some two hooligans, some rapscallions, committing an unforgivable sin of fishing in a pond. And he gets up in their face, starts yelling, screaming, spitting, shitting, soiling his old man diaper, even grabs one of their fishing rods and tries to break it over his glass knee, all because they had the gall to fish in that pond. Yo, don't touch my rod. Don't fucking touch my rod. You're trespassing on private property. Don't threaten us. You're trespassing on don't private us. property, young man. We're waiting for the police to come. You don't need to get out of here. No, wait for the Leave. No, we're going to talk to Leave. them. Leave. We're going to talk to them. He's actually hitting them with the classic scram buster gesture. The take a hike, pal emote that he's dropping on him right there. So as the shirt says, this gentleman is Tennessee strong. But you know what's not strong? His fucking knees. The way he walks around looks like a wounded penguin. He has a gait pattern that screams hip pain. So he comes up to this child, grabs the fishing rod, and tries to break it over his already fragile knee. And then I think that injures him even further. Like, he may have broke the $200 rod, but that fucking knee replacement surgery he's going to have to get as a result of this disgusting, pitiful display is going to be far more expensive. You threatened us. He's our you threatened us. To go in the lake, young man? The you threatened us. You want that phone to go in the lake? Back away Walk from out him. Out here, boys. Back Walk away out from of him. here. He walked up. Back up. Me. Back up from me. Here. He walked up on Back me. up from Get me. Get out of here. Back up from me. I love the peanut gallery that he brought with him from the retirement home. So like the geriatric goof troop over there is like, he's our president. And one of the other guys is just giggling like evil maniacal laughter. Ha 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 ha. You've done it now. You've upset the HOA president. Your goose is cooked, gentlemen. It's so fucking pathetic. It's so sad. To get to this age and just be this bitter and angry about something so small, kids fishing in a pond, who gives a fuck? Even if it is private property, which I don't think it's his private property, by the way, there's like five houses all right in that span. Like, it's not his land. But let's say they are trespassing. It's one of those things where you can absolutely handle it in a better way. Just be like, hey kids, uh, you know, not the biggest deal in the world, but this is private property. So, you know, just keep that in mind. Or maybe, you know, go somewhere over there where it's not private property to fish on this pond. Like, you could handle this like a fucking adult. Like, he's more childish than the 15-year-old kids that he's harassing right now and breaking the property of. Why don't I take that phone and put it in the lake? Yeah, and I'll press charges. For what? Like a soul, what? For what? A soul. Yeah, I'm not assaulting you. He's Get out of here. He We're just going to wait. We're not going to mess with anything. Get out of here. We're You're fishing in a private lake. Get the hell out of here now. The cops are coming. We're just waiting for them. Okay, good. The way he yells reminds me of Chris Farley living in a van down by the river. He's actually hitting a fucking Farley right now. He's so upset. It's like this is such a trivial thing to make a huge issue out of. All this hoopla because they're just fishing in a pond. They're not hurting anyone. This fucking old generation here that he represents is also the same one that uses the classic low-hanging fruit of all kids today are so lazy with their TikTok whatchamahoosits. They don't go outside and do anything active anymore. It's no wonder they're all fucking depressed and sad. And then you have kids that actually just go outside fishing, hurting no one, doing nothing wrong, and they're still mad. They're just still fucking mad. We're, you we'll know what? We're going to prosecute. Them. So your parents are going to be real proud of that. All right. We're going to prosecute you, and you're going to pay all kinds of money because you're being a dick. I'm not being a dick. You you're, are. Sir, you're the you're one yelling. You're, going, you're, you're on gonna private get... property, sir. young man. I'm just trying to fish. You threatened us, and you walked up get on me. Get out of here. Enemy. You're on private property. Get out of here. I'll always find it fascinating how people get into this delusional state when they have this temper. Like, when they're starting to rage like he is, all logic and common sense just leaves from their noodle. He thinks that somehow, when the police arrive, they'll be on his side, even after seeing the video. You clueless ignoramus. You absolute fucking fossil. On camera, you snatched the fishing rod out of a 15-year-old's hand, pushed him out of the way, like bumped him out of the way, and then broke his property over your knee. You basically assaulted a child on camera, and you think the police showing up would be a good thing for you, that they're going to be on your side somehow? It's just crazy how out of touch... People like that are. And it happens all the time when you are completely in the wrong, but then somehow still convinced you're in the right in a situation like this. It blows my mind. It really does. Like, even if he didn't do that, 
The most that would happen with the police showing up would be like, hey kids, do you mind not fishing here? The the homeowner clearly has an issue. Uh, he's definitely blowing a gasket, having a conniption over something kind of small, but, you know, can you just go fish somewhere else that's not on this guy's land? All right, thanks. Like, that that's how that would resolve. But this old guy's going ballistic here and thinks that somehow threatening to prosecute them would be, like, an actionable threat? Like, it's not like the cops are going to show up and start reading them their Miranda rights, throw them in the slammer, book them like, hey, get your lawyer here. He's, he's prosecuting you for fishing on, the, fishing on this pond. Your, your lives are ruined now. Sorry, Sprouts. <laughs> Better luck next time. It's so dumb. It's so fucking stupid. Again, if you have an issue with them being on private property, you could handle this in a much better way that isn't this out of hand and out of control. But I do want to put a teeny tiny little note on the end of that. If you do care about someone just innocently fishing on private property, you need to take a hard look in the mirror. You are way too fucking uptight and you are a Scrooge. Like, you are not enjoying life if this is something that bothers you to this degree. It's just kids fishing in a pond. No one is getting hurt. It is a victimless crime. Like, it's not a big deal at all. Like, it, it, like I remember when I was growing up, I used to do this shit too. My, my parents' house was next to a pond. And me and my friends would go to that pond and just fish in it. Sometimes we'd even swim in it, which, you know, but today I would never do because of fucking brain-eating amoeba. They got me fucking terrified. But back then, caution to the wind. I'd swim in the pond, we'd fish in the pond, and the homeowners that were around that pond didn't give a fuck. You know what didn't happen? One of them storming out of there, screaming and shouting with like a fucking sledgehammer and a chainsaw, ready to kill us over it, right? Like, it's not a big deal. But it feels like today... Everyone makes a big deal out of the most nothing burger situations like this. There are so many videos that pop up that are super similar to this, but this one's by far the biggest and best example of it that's come up in recent memory. So I just had to talk about it a little bit. But this is so common, where people are just snapping over nothing. Like, actually nothing. It just feels like everyone's constantly on edge, or even like paranoid to a certain extent. Like this pretty recent story that led to a woman being fatally shot because they accidentally pulled into a driveway they thought belonged to one of their friends, but it turns out it was not one of their friends. And the homeowner of that house just started shooting at their car because he was terrified that a car he didn't recognize pulled into his driveway or some shit. Like, that is horrifying, where pulling into the wrong driveway, completely innocent mistake, could just be a death sentence because some people are just fucking on edge over nothing. Don't, we, don't we, we just said we wanted to win. You touched me earlier. Get out of here. You get me out of here. here. You touched me earlier. <laughs> just your parents. Wait till I get a hold of your parents. I call them. Give me your... Call them right Let's now. Call My them. phone's dead. Call them. Call them. Phone's you dead. call them. Well, I don't call feel like parents. this. I just talked to the police. Parents. I'm gonna just talk to the police. You don't even know their number. You live in a, your parents live in this neighborhood? Don't worry about that. Hey, listen. The way he got up into the face of a 15 year old and like turned it to the side, the actual why I oughta energy is so fucking pathetic. This is a grown ass man who's getting into a 15 year old's face, like ready to fight him over him just fishing in a fucking pond. How sad can your life possibly be? That is unbelievably low and then he really thinks that somehow the parents are going to be disappointed in these kids like let's say for some reason he did have their number and called them that conversation is going to end with the parents driving over there and maybe beating this old man's ass for causing such a ruckus over nothing he knows everybody he said, that he, said, he, said he, he did but i think he's smith. lying do you know any smith lives in here no okay so what's your real name buddy I'm not telling. I'll, I'll tell the police that. I'm not telling y'all that. Wait, what's you the problem? Don't live in here. Okay, we're, we're just gonna wait till the police. He wait for the police. We're waiting for the police. He's the president. He's lived here for years, and there's no Smith that lives in here. We could stop fishing, but like we're just gonna wait for the police. You don't live in here. We're gonna wait for the he police to be here. Every family in here. Ma'am, who gives a fuck? She's talking about him like he's some kind of oracle, like an omniscient hero. He knows everybody in this neighborhood. Whoop de doo! Who cares? It's such a non fucking issue. So, what if the kids don't live in the neighborhood? It doesn't matter. They're not hurting anyone. It shouldn't matter. Again, if you are really bothered by it, go have a normal human interaction, a normal conversation about, like, hey, do you mind just going to fish over there or even just going somewhere else to fish?
All right, like you could definitely handle this in a much better way. You don't need to assemble the fucking lack of Power Rangers here with these three assholes coming up to like ambush them about this as if it's some big issue, like some kind of huge crime. It's just such a fucking stupid thing to get this heated over. We're just gonna wait for the police. I mean, really. Where are you guys from, man? Tennessee. Tennessee. Well, your parents would be proud of you. Why don't you send me that video? I'll send them and show you what a fine young man they're raising. Uh, and yeah, you're, what a fine young man they're raising. You're pressing up on some 15-year-old boys. Yeah, why are you pressing on 15-year-olds? He actually gets choked up there, starting to cry about this. Brother. Please. <laughs> Just stop. This is so bad. Like, yikes, man. Crying over this. At that age, too, huh? Woo-wee! Oof. I, my heart breaks for everyone under his HOA iron fist rule. Yikes. Goodness gracious. I don't know why he thinks their parents are going to be disappointed in them. Again, if he called them, it would not go how he thinks it would go. You get a call that your kids are fishing. Okay. I told you no fishing! Oh, I'm coming over there right now! This is unforgivable. Like, that doesn't happen. Like, and you tell them, they're on private property fishing. Okay, did you ask them to just leave? What do you mean you broke his fishing rod? What the fuck? Like, it's... It, I don't know what world he's living in, but he needs to snap back to reality at some point. It's fucked, man. I, I, like, I'm so blown away by how frequently these kind of videos pop up, and at the risk of sounding like an old man myself, it just really shows me how different it is growing up today versus when I grew up in the late 90s, early 2000s. It's... It's super fucking different. So yeah, I just wanted to talk about that a little bit. That's it. See ya.